welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well, I hope you're all doing very well. Thank you so much for coming back by the way and thank you so much for all of your amazing support as of late. As you all know I'm obsessed with Primark, I think it's amazing, I think it's just going up and up in the beauty world, in the homeware world and the fashion world because it's just getting better and better and obviously it's very affordable. And on this channel, I like to explore lots of affordable lifestyle choices. So this is a video showing you all the bits I have recently picked up in Primark in the Harry Potter range. I recently got invited by Primark to go down to their London homeware show. And in the Harry Potter section was tons of exciting things. Not only clothes, but there were homeware Harry Potter things, pillows, cushions, toys. It was just amazing. It was a Amazing. So I picked up lots of bits from the Harry Potter range so far. I know I haven't actually got everything there because I don't think they've released some of the bits. I'm going to keep going back, I'm going to email them, just check when that stuff is coming in stock and if it's in stores near me. So before I begin, please make sure you have subscribed down below because honestly it does mean the world to me and at the end of the video if you could give it a big thumbs up that would be great. Okay so I've got this big old bag here, some of it is actually just in the normal range which I will actually show you at the end of this video because I feel like a lot of it is very swoon worthy stuff that I know my viewers love watching what I purchased from Primark. Okay so first up from the Harry Potter range at Primark. I bought myself a whole range of socks. There's four pairs of lovely thick feeling socks in this and they're obviously for each house in the Harry Potter books. So Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. Now the socks feel really nice and like really nice soft material. I am actually going to open this now just to check because the problemo is you could buy all this stuff and spend all this money, but if it's not good quality stuff, do you really want it? So, I want to see if it's good quality stuff. Well, they feel nice, they really, really do, and they have a lovely Gryffindor crest at the bottom. I love grey socks, I love grey things, I just think they're nice. And yeah, they feel nice, I love the stripes at the top. So, they feel lovely, they've got... Harry Potter, the Warner Brothers Entertainment at the bottom, so they're certified Harry Potter goods. And oh, I just really like them. I'm glad there's like a variety in here. You could like share these with your friends and family because there's all of the houses. I would definitely take the Gryffindor socks. I'm not sure who would have these. I do have some friends that are diehard Slytherin fans, so they might be fighting over these. These were a little three pounds. Okay, so next up from the Harry Potter range at Primark, I purchased myself some pyjamas. You know what I'm like with my nightwear. I'm obsessed. I think my nightwear drawer in my wardrobe is actually a lot more full than any other sector of clothing. So, I don't know, take from that what you will, but obviously I'm obsessed with pyjamas. So, this is the tea of the pyjamas and it's... Oh yes! I didn't even see the back of the t-shirt and I'm so happy with that. So okay, so I purchased them like this. This is uh, the t-shirt and they come with matching pants which I'll show you in a minute. And the t-shirt says, I don't go looking for trouble, trouble usually finds me. Now obviously I'm going to buy that because I'm a bit of a mischief maker so I like it. I love the rose gold kind of glittery writing, that is what I fell in love with. And also the navy blue, I love navy blue things, I just think it's so cosy. And it's got gorgeous, <coughs> excuse me, got a gorgeous um, rim around the neck which I really like, which also has like the rose gold glitter detail. So on the back, which is what I didn't see, which I'm so in love with, is the um, Hogwarts crest in rose gold. How gorgeous is that? I absolutely love that so much. And then I've also just noticed on the inside of the collar, we have a little tag which says H Potter. So they are pajamas that look like they belong to Harry Potter, which is so cool. Then we have the matching pants, which I love so much. They are long stripy pants with gorgeous burgundy cuffs at the bottom and the rim of the pants says Hogwarts and it's got a emblem at the top of the thigh where your thigh would be and some cute little buttons. They're just so cozy. I love stripy pajamas. 
So I am super happy with these pyjamas. I'm probably going to wash them and wear them tonight. I always love to wash my pyjamas from Primark first because they have like that funny store smell on that I don't like. The top was, you buy them separately. The top was six pounds for the top and I think it's the same, eight pounds for the bottom so it's reasonable it's a good price the material does feel good I normally find Primark pajamas do last me quite a while they don't last too long as long as some other stores but they last long enough it's definitely worth the money next up I also bought some more pants which are more like chill daytime pants which go perfectly with the top I just showed you and they are these gorgeous navy blue cuffed stripe jogger pants things they're kind of like loungewear i would say you could probably wear them to bed as well as well as kind of be in them throughout the day i absolutely love these because they could be daytime loungewear again loungewear is my favorite type of clothing because i'm always lounging at home what i love about this is it had these pants is they have the raven claw we have the raven claw at the top and um, we have like the lion crest for gryffindor the badger for hufflepuff and the snake for slytherin so these pants were eight pounds as well so a bargain in my eyes i love the um dark red down at the side of the pants i just think they're really cool next up in my harry potter haul from primark i purchased myself a marauder's mat t-shirt i love this it's so cute i really 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 love light gray t-shirts when i saw this t-shirt was almost like a huge Marauders map. I fell in love. It's a real nice light feeling t-shirt, just perfect with some jeans or just with some loungewear when you're lounging at home. You could even like have this under dungarees. So I'm thinking of like wearing this next after this white t-shirt, just kind of putting this on and going out like that. This t-shirt was only six pounds and it's just really nice, really cute, nice size. It's not cropped and it's not too long. It's just an all-rounder really. So next up from the Harry Potter range I purchased myself another t-shirt. Now this t-shirt is so cute. It's got lots and lots of different prints, Harry Potter themed prints on the t-shirt. It's just a white t-shirt. It's kind of long and it's kind of baggy. It's almost like a boyfriend style t-shirt and um, it's not figure hugging at all which I kind of like. I do like a baggy tee and it's got the Harry Potter Hogwarts emblem, the Gryffindor crest, HP, the little snitch flying around, and Harry Potter's glasses, all oh, and even Harry Potter's scarf. So it's just got a load of Harry Potter just like blurted on the t-shirt for your entertainment and to look cool while you're wearing it because I feel like you always look cool when you're wearing Harry Potter. So this t-shirt was only £6, so I think that's a cute little bargain for such a cool little t-shirt. Next up, I purchased another t-shirt because they are, they do have a lot of t-shirts available in the Harry Potter range. I felt like a majority of what I saw at my local store anyway was Harry Potter style like t-shirt and tops. But this t-shirt is probably my favourite out of the whole range and it's this gorgeous like marl grey t-shirt and it says don't let the muggles get you down which i absolutely love because there are some people who will try and get you down and they will try and bring you down and you just have to fight past them let them be muggles because we are witches and wizards and we rock i really love the color of this t-shirt it's kind of like a, a stained gray like a washed gray it's just gorgeous and I do think this, out of all the t-shirts I've purchased, this is probably going to get the most use. This t-shirt was £8. So I did think it would be a little bit more expensive than the other two t-shirts because it just feels nicer. It's a nicer colour and also I love the writing at the front. So next up I purchased again another little set of socks. And these socks are so cute. They are Dobby the House Elf socks. I think Dobby has to be one of my top five favourite characters in all of the books and all of the films. He's just such a cool dude. So this pair says Dobby is free, which is so cute. And it's got a little pattern of Dobby at the front. And I love how, I love the cuffs of these ones. They're like glittery, which is super cool. These ones say just a massive Dobby and it's all kind of like glittery um, cotton blend. And it says... Dobby has come to save Harry Potter and his friends. Oh, he's such a hero. And the last pair says, 
Free the house elves. It's sort of almost like a petition to free all the house elves. I mean, you need Dobby socks, don't you? Because Dobby was released via receiving Harry Potter's sock. So it's very fitting to have a Dobby sock. These were only £2.50, which is really good for three whole pairs of socks. They're actually shoe liner socks, so they're kind of like... I don't know, I call them sports socks or ankle socks. Right, so next up in my Harry Potter haul, I purchased myself the most amazing mug. This is so cool. This is a cauldron mug. I do actually have a cauldron mug from Orlando, America. So I'm so happy I found this because they kind of go together. It's just this gorgeous Harry Potter black cauldron ceramic mug. And it's got the gold kind of emblem, the rose goldy emblem at the front. And it's just such a cute mug. It feels like really nice to hold. It's like perfect size for a nice warm hot chocolate, which I love. The mug was only five pounds, which I think is really good. So another item in the Harry Potter collection available at Primark is this gorgeous like mason jar drinking mug that says Polyjuice Potion at the front. Again, this is like jet black. It's like matte black all the way around the whole glass. It's so cute with the stripy straw. So just before I start showing you all the other amazing bits I bought from Primark, I've got one more bit that I purchased from the Harry Potter range and that is these Harry Potter spectacles. I'm so, oh they're upside down. I'm so excited about these. I haven't tried them on so I'm going to try them on now. These were two pounds. So bit of a bargain. How do these look? Do I look like Harry himself? Yay, these are so cool. I should draw a, a scar on my forehead now. I might actually put a plaster or some kind of bandage in the middle so they look more Harry Potter-esque, uh, more OG Harry Potter. But I actually love those. I think they're so cool. I love the little scar in the bottom. Okay, so that was all the bits I purchased from the Harry Potter range. At Primark, I'm going to quickly run through some of the gorgeous autumn winter pieces I also picked up while I was in Primark. I could not resist. So it's mainly just bobble hats really. So first of all is this very light grey slash almost blue bobble hat which I absolutely love. It's so fluffy at the top. This was only £2. It was only £2 which I think is such a bargain. It's super super soft and stretchy. I need stretchy hats because... My head kind of doesn't ever fit hats, which is very annoying. That is cute. So that's hat number one. I also purchased another woolly bobbly hat for the winter. And this is hat number two. This is a darker grey actual hat with a gorgeous peachy pink fluff at the top. Absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love this. It's so so cute. I love the colour like peachy pink. I can't explain what it is. Comment down below if you know what I mean. Again, this was only £2. What a bargain. This is cute. Love it. Yep, very cute. Obviously I won't have the labels. Perfect for the winter seasons. Next up I purchased some gorgeous peg trousers. These are gorgeous. They're stretchy. They're almost like treggings, but not jeans. Um, they're stretchy and really gorgeous. They're high-waisted and they have a gorgeous little pattern on them, like a tiny little pinky star with dots around it. They're just really cute. I love small prints. I really like things with small prints. I just thought these little things would be perfect with a nice woolly jumper in the colder seasons. They could look smart and they could also look casual. These were, how much were these? Seven pounds. These were only seven pounds. Bargain. I also bought this faux leather uh, meshy material cap because everyone has been wearing them at the moment and they're super cute, but it doesn't fit me. Why can't they make bigger hats? Does anyone else have this problem? Where I'm a woman, yes, it doesn't mean I necessarily have a tiny head with really thin hair. I actually have quite a round head with a very thick hair, so it's really hard to get my head in the things. But look, it's just sitting... Ow, see, it's on, but it hurts. Like, it hurts. Although I kind of like it, but it does hurt. And then last but not least, I purchased some trainers! These are so cool, I really like these. 
They're like Yeezy style. They are really, really cute. They're like meshy material, very comfy. They're like running trainers, aren't they? It's like all the new range where it's all like into one. It doesn't have a separate trainer tongue. It kind of just has all in one. And they're like a meshy pink color with white soles. I just think they're going to be perfect to kind of run around in and they will look good with jeans and a nice bag. I feel like trainers these days are a more dressy up item. That sounds weird, doesn't it? But I do, I feel like girls are really rocking the trainer look right now. So I wanted to jump on board and I purchased these because I have seen a lot of these on on my Twitter timeline that people have been buying. Okay guys, so that's everything from my Primark Harry Potter haul, including some un-Harry Potter stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video very much. I very much so enjoyed filming it because now I can't wait to literally start putting everything on and trying it on and wearing it because I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed with Harry Potter. I'm really enjoying YouTube at the moment. It's so, so, so much fun. I'm so thankful I get to do this. I'm so thankful for everybody who watches me and gives me support, likes my videos, subscribes to my channel, leaves me a comment. It really, really, really does mean the world to me. I will see you in my next video. Bye!